Hello, friends. Yeah, I'm running behind time. I'm using my new robotic uh, tripod. There's one thing I can't tip it forward or back or yeah so I don't know that about it but oh somebody's here Ashley <laughs> I gotta get this big roast pan out I need a fork Where's this? Uh, there's too much soup. I'll just add more to it for him. Oh, yeah, and our appointments, dentist appointments are August 3rd, not 22nd. I don't know where I got 22nd from. But anyway, so I'm so thirsty. I didn't make my tea yet. I'll turn this on. Tea Tuesday. So we're having red rose, orange pico. He didn't put the plates away after all. Yeah. Whoops. One flipped out. This phone is down to 38% and the other one is even less. So, yeah, I know. I read it. So you're not supposed to plug your phone in every night. And you're supposed to let it go down, way down, to uh, have more... More life to your battery, more years to the life of it, I guess. I guess there'll be one more meal over here of for tomorrow dinner time. I'll put that in a smaller dish because it doesn't have to be in that big, big dish. Yeah, so let's... I can't tip this one down. So you can see what I'm doing. Oh... I got the glove on the wrong hand. It's okay, I'll put another one on. I got the curtains closed to keep the sun out in these two windows. I forgot that little room went there yesterday. But... Okay, let's... I'll have to look for comments after I get the gloves off. It's just the same old, same old patty. 
Getting our food ready. I'll set that back there. Set this up here. I wore pink today, but I wore the the black cats in the in the teacup earrings because black goes with anything black and gold. I'll make a soup later over in the pressure pot because I don't think we have any more cabbages or carrots or turnips for him to cook up yeah we eat a cabbage and a turnip and a carrots every week he does one in this pan here and I do a soup every week which has cabbage. I eat cabbage pretty well every day. Might as well call it cabbage vegetable soup. And I add the potatoes and the starch to it. Because I like to know how much starch I have in my, in, in my meal. This is kind of clumsy over here, doing this this way, but... I'm just cutting the cabbage right on the dish. Feels like something's on my back. A bug or... There is a fly here. Or a mosquito. I don't know which. It's not... Uh, I don't hear a mosquito. But... Oh, feels like one. sweaty inside and I couldn't get it off. We're going to the sink. Oh, well, the kettle. Oh, it just turned off. Oh. I forgot to activate it. Oh, for pity sakes. Activate. with it already. Hold still so I can read. Like you have a camera person. Yeah. <laughs> Hi Jackie. Oh, are your favorite tribe? Yeah. <laughs> I'm dealing with heat rash. Oh. About to go out in this heat and deliver. I'll be listening. Okay, hon. Try to stay as cool as you can. I'll see what the temperature is here today. It's about 27, which is 80, 82 or something. I don't know. Uh, today is uh, Tea Tuesday, so 
I got Red Rose Orange Pico. Yeah, it's following me around, but the thing is I can't tip it down so that you can see. See this is what I'm doing. That's what I don't like. That's what I'm not liking. Okay, so I'll mingle and marry this. I'll put the pepper on it and mingle and marry it before I put it in the oven. I don't know that's enough food. <laughs> I need a dish. I see a comment. I'll, I'll look at it. I'm putting this out in the oven. I just put it on 20 minutes today. 20 minutes. Why did it stop? Oh, it must have lost me when I went out the door. Kelly's sitting there on the other side of the threshold there. Now I'm going to put his two little squirts of salt, squirts of pepper, get his squirt of ketchup. I don't know how we ever made out with wire fridge shelves because nothing, everything falls, falls over. He likes the squirt of pickle juice. And I'll see if there's any more juice in this for me to, uh, not juice, broth. There we go. There's the soup. There's the soup. I'll put this back in the fridge. Oh, I gotta get that tea bag out. That's gonna be too strong. Oh, oh gee. Pickle juice back in there. Get my water out. I need a sip. Pour it in my tea here. Give it a stir. See if it's. Perfect. Perfect. Callie's sitting beside me, but you guys can't see her. 
What, have you got no food? Let me see. You've got food in your dish. Ha! She's got food. <laughs> Don't worry, friends. She's not going to starve. Ha! She's got food. All right, now i got to wait 20 minutes for that. So... Hubby wants to go camping from tomorrow till Sunday. Oh, let's see if I can survive. Oh, my heavens. Oh, my goodness. I will not be. I would not. Uh, that's cool. Self-adjusting camera. Wow, nice. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing I can't, I can't do it this way. Like, with this, I can, uh, I can tip it down and I can tip it up. But that one I can't. Yeah. I can bring it down more to my level. Like that. Oh, she's gone now. But it's going to keep moving even though I'm stationary. Oh. Yeah, that pink one would always do that too, but it, it seemed like it was more of a face tracker than a whole body tracker. This one's supposed to be both. So, yeah, maybe I can pause it while, while I'm just sitting, but then I won't remember to turn it back on again. Oh, goodness gracious me. Yeah, I'll put this down some so that it's more at my angle. Yeah, so you're not going to be able to see the cat today if I leave it in that. It looks like you can, well, I can tip it ahead like, all right, that might work. I can tip it ahead just a fraction of an inch. Cheers. While we're waiting for the food to cook, we could... Oh, she's walking over there. She must be going to the litter pan. We could try this one. This one's more dead than that one, I think. 45%. see what this one is yeah I should have brought the uh, 17% I should have brought the uh, my charger my power bank Ashley turn on I want you to turn on there Whew. Yes, the pan is going in there. I would never be able to do that. I get heat stroke in the 80s. Open Kindle. Oatmeal cookies. That was what we did last. So this one is R I S O A T. T O. Riz Oto. So I can read this. I 
I thought I stopped that from doing that. Pause. Maybe it unpauses itself after a few minutes. I don't know. This is Chef AJ's book. Secrets to the Ultimate Weight Loss. I competed in an Iron Chef competition and was given instant oats and mushrooms as two of the secret ingredients and came up with this savory oat dish that has the texture of a rice risotto but can be made in a fraction of the time. If you are trying to overcome a sugar addiction, it's best to always start your day with savory way day in the savory way yeah she has said that uh, I well my my brunch is my breaking my fast that's my breakfast and lunch and I always have savory but I have the sweetness of the uh, vegetables too so like the peas and uh, corn, uh, yeah, peas, corn, cabbage, turnips, carrots, onions. They're all sweet to me now. Uh, okay, two cups of instant steel oats. Oh, I didn't think she used steel. Instant, but this book is older, so, yeah. Two cups of instant steel cutouts. Oh, instant steel cut. I didn't know there was instant steel cutouts. Huh. Hmm. Two, four cups of non, no sodium vegetable broth or water. Like my, uh, uh, what do you call it? Pot liquor, vegetable broth. One large clove of garlic pressed or more to taste, however much you want. Three quarters cup sun dried tomatoes. Oil and salt free, cut in small pieces, about three ounces. I never have sun dried but tomatoes. They're quite expensive. I've never bought them and tried them myself. One ounce of dried mushrooms chopped into small pieces. One ounce of basil, fresh basil, chiffonade cut. S C H I F F O N A D E. I think she rolls them up in in like a if you was rolling a, a tobacco cigarette and then she just slices it like that. I think that's how she does that. Cut one cup of whole leaf dulse. Dulse. I need some dulse. Where's his re his note? Let's use the black pen. Ashley! <laughs> Dulse! Well, if I can't get any at Sobeys, I'll be able to get some in Bridgewater. Maybe I'll just save it for to get it in Bridgewater. Do you buy Dulce, Ashley? Can you buy it there? Anyway, uh, oh, she gets hers smoked applewood Dulce at www.cveg.com. Well, if I can get it here, why? I might as well get it here. They probably charge for shipping. Uh, place all ingredients except the basil in a medium-sized pot and bring to a boil. Oh, she's not using the eye pot. I never noticed. I also get it for free. You get dulse for free? Oh, yes, that's right, too. Okay, yeah. Okay, place all ingredients except the basil in a medium-sized pot and bring to a boil. Reduce heat to a simmer. Cover and cook for approximately 10 minutes until all the liquid is absorbed and oats are cooked. Stir in fresh basil and dulse, effusing and enjoy. You can dehydrate this for delicious, crunchy, savory crackers that are great for travel. If you are following a strictly salt-free diet, it's a good idea to include sea vegetables 
which are high in iodine in your diet in small amounts a few times a week. I always forget to, to eat it. You found another bag of dolls in the cupboard. I don't know if it's still good. <laughs> Take a bite. <laughs> Take a bite and see. Ashley sent me a snack. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. That's her, her brunch today. These are vegan fish cake nugget things. And she's got... Looks like beets and broccoli and cauliflower. I don't know if that's potatoes. Peas. I see peas. Yum. I eat a small amount of iodized salt daily for iodine. Yes, a lot of people do. Jackie. I would like to get mine from, uh, I don't use salt very often. There is a, a tiny bit of salt in some stuff, but I die salt also has, I've read the, the salt box before and it even had sugar added. Yeah. It's, uh. Yeah, adults. I write that down. Instant steel cut. I didn't know there was oats. I didn't know there was instant. I gotta look at my uh, container and see if it's and see if it's uh, instant or not. Instant adults. <laughs> I gotta find that pharmacy. Found that pharmacy, yeah. I asked a question on Facebook Messenger and they don't answer it there. She said call. I'll have to call later because I'm using the phone that I that's my telephone phone. This one here. I didn't I took that I was, that was too much money to spend on this. Just to uh her back and her and her <laughs> roll over so we can see you your belly we want to see your belly belly what a good girl you're such a sweet girl oh my goodness she's gonna fall asleep <laughs> she is isn't she I wish we could see her belly, though. But if I walked over to the other side of her belly, then she would move. Yeah, she would turn over, so I'm not going to bother. Oh, my phone wants me to drink water. So, of course, I have to doodly, do, do, dutifully. But that only makes you more thirsty because it's got also got salt, sodium in it. I'll drink tea. Instead, I drink my water from my well over at the trailer when I'm home. Yeah. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> my goodness, she's funny. Just got out of a hot shower because in the summer, our cold water comes out hot. Oh, does it? A nice cold shower would help my heat rash, but I'm not that's not possible in the summer here. Well, that's different. Cause I was I was gonna say why why a hot shower instead of a cold. You know what? I gotta go get the ice water.
There's a mosquito. Oh yeah, it's gone now, of course. It was right there. <laughs> Something's going on over here. Ah! <laughs> Ashlyn took a screenshot for me. Thank you, hon. Love it. Love, love, love. I have my cold water knob on and hot water off, and the temperature is not warm but hot. Oh, my heavens. That wouldn't be very... That's not good. I want you to stop for a minute. I shared. I shared it with this phone. So I won't forget. Oh, she's bet. Oh, she was bathing her ears and her head. Oh, are you tired? Did you have a hard night? Ha! <laughs> ha! Uh, that's how hot it is here in Texas. Oh my goodness. Well, I won't be coming to visit Texas very soon. <laughs> no, I can't travel anyway, but... Uh, my goodness, I don't know how you can stay in that. Is it something that you climatize to? Or, like... In... Places that it's it's over a hundred degrees. I don't know how. So that's probably why the heat rash isn't healed yet. Second week. Oh no, that's bad. I've had heat rash before. That's not. Yeah. Let's see. I don't get it anymore. But I'm not in a hundred degrees uh, temperature either. Well, I, I, I had a little bit under my belly. Uh, is, if that's what you, if you're referring to, like, I used to get it off up the sides of my belly and right down, in, right down to past my legs, like, and it would get right red and itchy and sore and, what did I have to put on it? I think I put on, on that Zincafax. I think that's Zincafax that you put on babies. Richard used to get all chafed when he was lobster fishing. And, uh, yeah, and that's what we used. And it had very, very slight smell to it, so I was able to use it. I don't know if there's an unscented kind, unscented kind that I got, or, or if it was just the normal. But anyway, I used to use that. I have no, I don't. Yeah, and I used to get it under my, uh, under my uh, chest a lot. But, and I can handle the humidity a lot more than I could when I was 100 pounds heavier and very, very, very sick. I wasn't just a hundred pounds heavier. I was very, very, very sick. I had no energy, no strength. I had 24 hour pain. No, I can never get used to this. Okay, now I know. He was born and raised in New York City. Oh, and I've been here in Texas since 85. I was 16 years old and I hate the heat and told by a doctor I'm allergic to the sun. People are allergic to the sun. Richard's mom can't go in the sun. I can't go in the sun anymore. But I, I, I don't think I would break out in the rash. I, I would just get sunstroke. 
or heat stroke or whatever you call it. Headache and fainty and yeah. One time when I was in my early 20s, I was on a beach and uh, yeah, I was in my early 20s because the girls were just just babies and uh, we were on the beach and having a picnic and having a drink and I had a drink of vodka and uh, I passed out in the sun way back then and the doctor, he took me to the hospital and he, the doctor and he said never ever drink hard liquor in the sun New York has similar weather to here does it? where we are so you would be more comfortable here, uh, Jackie, than in Texas. She fell asleep with her back to us. I can't help it. She's antisocial. I'm sorry, friends. I'm sorry, friends. She's antisocial. Yeah, I thought our dentist appointment was uh, August the 22nd, but it's August 3rd. So I gotta write him a note. Okay, good, you went off. 28%, that's good. I gotta write him a note. My rash isn't at my goals and I have plenty of folds and deal with that rash but oh this is a different oh okay located all around my core oh my goodness oh my goodness Jackie that sounds awful more awful what I was describing and that was awful enough Oh my land. How long is this heat going to last? That you're going to have to deal with that. I contacted my dermatologist and she wanted a photo, so I just sent her one and see what she says, yeah. Because, do you get that every year? Kind of sounds like shingles, but I had shingles once, just a little patch of it. My daughter had it when she was just a small girl. Well, she might have been nine. Never, this is the first time. I had a really easy case of shingles. But I've seen some really, really bad, bad cases and last for a long time. That's why the doc wanted a photo. I just had a little patch, just, it was right on my side, and it was right where my panties uh, come, and I thought, oh no, I'm getting allergic. Yeah, keep us posted. Uh, I thought I was getting allergic to the rubber elastic in my band of my panties, because it was just itching and burning, and... After a while, I looked at it, and, and it was just a small shingles there. And, it, yeah, I had it really easy. Sometimes it can go up in your face and in your eyes and your chest. I had a friend that had it on her chest, upper body and on her chest, and... Does it go right around and meet? Because I forget what I heard about that, if it meets. 
I'm trying to keep the cat in the in the frame. I bought new cooling clothing and new allergy sensitive detergent. I'm trying everything but can't access cold water. Wow. That wow. I can't imagine. Like, uh, I was wearing a rash girdle. Oh my heavens. That's awful. I just gotta write this to Rich. I don't know where I got the 22nd from, but, oh, oh, there she, she stretched out a paw. Heat rash corset, oh my dear. It's after 12, are you getting hungry? I am hungry. I am hungry, hun. I, uh. His appointment is 11 a.m. and mine is 10.50. I'm getting a cleaning and a checkup and he's getting a cleaning and a checkup. Well, I don't know if they're going to bother to clean because uh, he's getting all of his bottom teeth out. There's a car in the yard. It's got Ontario plates. You guys watch the cat. I'll have to. I'll have to. Well, I don't know. If that's Ontario or not. You guys watch the cat for me. It's gone. When I got there, it was gone. So, I uh, must have had the wrong address or something. So, that's good. I don't like... I don't deal like dealing with... Hi, Dawn! Yeah, I don't know who it was. Must have had the wrong address. Anyway, they're gone. There was a, a strange car in the...
in the air and uh, it had a, I think it was Ontario plates on it, but yeah. Anymore. <sighs> yeah, freaky. Okay, let's. Can't see my dish today. I don't know what I can set it on to. To for you to see, but. Whew! Why did I even heat it up? Why don't I just eat it cold? Should have just ate it cold. Flush, so no fun. Oh, the little uh, things are gone. The things are gone that I cut up for him. The YouTube uh, cards. He must have took them. I'll take some off the top. Come back, Hallie. Come back. There was no onions today. Maybe there was some in the pot. Sweating from the top of my head to my toes. From the hot flash, not from I'm putting hot food in my body isn't helping matters. Mm. I ate both of my grapefruits. There's no bananas here. Maybe I'll eat a couple more pickles when I'm done. That car is back here.
okay, Callie. It's okay. She's a friend. Yeah, it's okay. I know her. She's a friend. It's probably not Ontario. It's probably New Brunswick. I probably read it wrong. You know who it is, uh, Dawn. Alvy. Give Richard, uh, pay Richard for, I didn't know she was here already. Yeah. From her and her sister, Phyllis. She's already gone. She's in a hurry. She's already gone. I don't know where she went. She left here and she went over to the trailer. She was trying to call Richard on the phone. And he can't have his phone on him at work. So then she went over the trailer and banged on the door over there. So probably those cats are scared out of their fur. Then she come back here. I know. I thought about it, but... <laughs> <laughs> and I thought about leaving my phone behind. What if I can need it to call 911 or something? <laughs> oh, dear. You know, Ashley, we watch too much true crime. But it does happen. Yeah, it does happen. <laughs> oh, where are you, hun? <laughs> I did that once for a friend. The cops didn't like it. No, they were treating me like some kind of a criminal. Yeah. A friend of mine, he had himself locked in his trailer and he was th he was uh, a binge drinker. Like, I didn't even know he drank. Well, I, was, I was camping out on his lawn for six weeks. I didn't even know he drank. But after that, I was friends on Facebook with his sister too. And she called me up and she said he's on a binge. He's locked himself in his trailer. And he's threatening to kill himself. Can you call the cops for me? Because she was in the States. Well, I called, and they, they were not pleased with me. No. Because I wasn't right there. I couldn't see what was happening. You know, it could have been a hoax or something. I don't know. Yeah. Because you're not not really supposed to have 911 on your speed dial. But cell phones don't have, I don't have it on my cell on my speed dial but when you open up your phone sometimes at the bottom of your phone it says emergency nine phone nine one nine 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 one one anyway and it does it it did it to me with one of these phones right out here in this driveway. I just come home. I just got in the driveway and I, I was getting all my stuff like I always do, and I must have touched it. And and this RCMP woman answered, said, uh, or somebody there, you called nine one one something like that. No, no, I didn't. Is everything okay there? Because they. People say, they call, and then they'll say, no, everything's all right. So, and they have to make sure, but she took my word for it, and she didn't come out. Ah! <laughs> In that instance, it was an elbow dial. <laughs> <laughs> Richard.
ready to go, Pally. Oh, she's over there under the... I can just see her under the stove on the cardboard over there. I was loading my spoon up before my mouth was empty. My bum still does hurt from falling back on it, on that cement. You know, I do this. Uh, Yeah, she was in a hurry, Dawn. Yeah, bruised inside, yeah. I have to be hit pretty hard to bruise. When I was a battered wife, Back in the 70s. And he put bruises where no one would see them. All these shows I watch. They say that the most dangerous time for a woman or man is when they tell the, their partner or their spouse that they're leaving. So, yeah, you probably do. It's a long time ago, but yeah. I don't go into details because he's still living and he's my youngest daughter's father, so. Uh, anyway, so I was... Every time I watch a show and it, t it says that, I am so thankful that I did it sneakily and I waited until he was away from the house and I didn't even tell him because he said, well, I won't say what he said, but, hmm. It was a dangerous time. Even after I, I did leave, it was still dangerous. He did come after us. And thankfully, my brother-in-law was there. And talked him down. Yeah. I'll probably keep all the details to myself to my grave. I don't want to hurt my daughter. She hurt enough. Uh oh, I loaded my spoon. I'm getting a bite of cabbage this time. Mm. I only got enough left for tomorrow uh, brunch time, Dawn, with that cabbage and turnip and carrots and potatoes, unless Richie eats it for his supper. He doesn't usually. He usually cooks himself something new. Hmm. 
Mmm. Are you going to do another one? Sometime? Mmm. <laughs> Thumbs up. I also love having leftovers. I always loved having leftovers, but now it's called batch cooking. <laughs> I don't have to worry. What am I going to eat today? What am I going to eat today? I have to go in the fridge and take it out. And I've been doing the same thing for over five years. And I'm not tired of it. I'm not tired of it. I'm happy about that. Some people like more of a, a variety. Well, when I go home, love your vegetables. That's a good thing. Yeah. That's a good thing. Uh, that other phone is 50% charged, so I'm going to put this, this one on. Um, because I eat this to here, and then I go over there, and I eat potatoes, and sweet potatoes, and Broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, and Brussels sprouts. So I like to get a variety. Not just different taste but different colors too I don't have anything green here but yeah I dressed in pink today gonna be hot so I wore just the oh I was gonna put on a new pink bra and I forgot duh oh well this I've had for probably 20 years or more a lot of my tops I have my one flannel shirt I've had I have a picture of myself wearing it 23 years ago <laughs> it's getting a little threadbare but I can't bear to throw it away <laughs> Remember tomorrow, don't put hot food in your body.
It could be like a cold potato salad. But I don't use dressing or Ameriquip or anything like that. Not even ve vegan uh, mayo. It's all fat. Because oh. I need the ultimate low calorie density. After I eat, I'm going to peel some spuds. The more I'm doing that, the more it's hurting my bum. <laughs> Let's try this. She's still over there now. She's facing me. Why don't you come over where we can see you? No? Huh? <laughs> I got that robot sitting on a, a different uh, screen, a different screen, a different uh, tripod. I'm going to take a picture. Smile. Cheese. Whiskey. Silly thing. None of them would work. I think I'll take the potatoes home in that white, the new white bowl that came with Richie's Basin. That set of white bowls, Ashley, that we bought at Walmart. I see it's up there on the top of the fridge. She's on the move. An earwig. Let me look at it. Where'd it go? 
Girl, did you hear her meow at me? She's got her um, her blue toy thing uh, empty, so I'll fill that. But she has food in her dish. All finished. Oh, she's gone again. <laughs> Itty bitties. I need a clean pork. So I'll bring two clean glasses with me when I come. Got it open. These are itty bitties. How did you do that with the phone? What, you mean follow me? I thought I had it paused. I got this new robotic. Yeah, <laughs> robotic uh, tripod. It's supposed to follow your face track and body track. My uh, my pink one that I broke used to, but it didn't do it very good. It would always try to just faces. She just walked by again. I, uh, I did a video unboxing it, but I don't think I published it yet. Let me see. My library. 
my videos. Yeah, I didn't publish it yet. I'll publish it now. Because I forgot. I'll publish it now. And that shows the unboxing. Itty bitty little cucumber. Another itty bitty little cucumber. Ashley, screenshot. Oh no, good shot of my arm flab. Oh well, it's a part of it. It's all a part of me. My journey. I feel about as much like peeling potatoes as I feel like jumping off the Angus L. McDonald Bridge. She's over there on. <laughs> what are you doing over there? <laughs> she was over there again. What was she doing over there? Hmm? Good girl. Where are you going? Good girl. Mm, just barely see her. I gotta take these over to the sink.
had to get my gloves. Heal Spuds with. Oh, she laid right down. Good girl. What a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> now I could eat more but I'm not water in the fridge. This we bought at President's Choice. I don't know how a superstore. Quite a few years ago, and there was two of them, and they had fourteen dollars marked on them. I said I love those, but I'm not paying fourteen dollars. And he looked at it and it had another price, four dollars. So we bought them both. So there was one in the shed, and there was one in the trailer. And now there's one here and one in the trailer, because instead of peeling potatoes in the shed, he peels them here. Yeah, yeah. Where is the potatoes? I'm going to do the part bag. Russets. The red potatoes are good, but I don't notice that much difference. And they're $2 more. A, pa a, a bag for 10 pounds, so... Yeah, so we're just going to eat russets. surface water. The water looks yellow. Looking yellow. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, hello, Patty. Who is this now? Am I ready to sit down? Just getting the gear ready to peel the potatoes. Oh, it's Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Jackie's here too. She's delivering. Oh no. I've been on for almost an hour and a half too. I just finished eating. A car came in the yard and, oh, <laughs> and they were scared for me. I didn't take a weapon with me. <laughs> How did he get into this? Oh, he opened it from the top. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can see Callie. Yeah, uh, well, I get my arms out of the way. I gotta stop that again. Yeah, I did. And I come to find out it was the 
our friend from across the street. Well, she lives in uh, another province. Because I got a new a new tripod and I put it on pause, but it's keep it on trying to follow me. Anyway. So I'm going to do all these potatoes. <laughs> I don't know if it's brave or stupid. Yeah, it just followed me. Uh, it is when I want to move it around, but if I'm just sitting still, it still wants to do this. So that's annoying, and then I have to get it on pause. Richard mowed for the, for the woman across the street. She was just bringing him a note. Oh, you can't see me peeling. Oh yeah, the rib potatoes are two dollars more for ten pounds, so eight dollars and something for ten pounds, so we're just going to use the russets, six dollars and thirty cents a bag for ten pounds. It says number ones, but if these are number ones, I'd ha hate to see the number twos. How many bags do you go through a week? Uh... Oh, number one would be your best. Number one would be the best, the best, pristine looking with no, no uglies on them. Number two would be like the next with, with this would be, a, this is number twos. These are number two potatoes, not number ones. The quality, I guess you'd call it. They're compliments brand, the Sobeys brand compliments. See, I shouldn't have to cut that out of a number one potato. There shouldn't be any waste. They should be nice and clean, and I can wash them and eat them with the skins on if I wanted to. Back when I was a kid, there was no uh, garbage pickup. So we had a dump out and back by the tray, by, uh, by under an apple tree. The bars are numbered like that. I have never paid attention to that. Hmm. I don't know. They would be right on the bag. It says Canada, number one. Anyway, we had a dump out under a tree because there was no garbage to pick up. There's no place to throw your garbage back when I was a kid. So... And we would go out there sometimes and there would be a potato growing because uh, we dumped the potato peelings. Those aren't considered nice skin enough to scrub and eat without peeling. No, I wouldn't know.
If these were made into wedgies, I'd be taking a lot of black things off of them. And not only that, they're black under under the skin. Anyway, so and there was uh, potatoes growing in the in the dump from the potato uh, peelings being dumped there. I don't know when garbage and they started coming around with trucks and gathering up your garbage I don't know what year that was when they started that and that would have been just in the town it wasn't in the outskirts and the woods where we lived 20 minutes from a town oh yeah sorry uh, I was trying to think Well, by the time I peel them, there's not 10 pounds of potatoes. Because there's a lot of waste off of this particular bag, at least. Um, and I don't like eating rotten spots. So, well, I eat at least 2 pounds a day. So five days it would last me but Richard eats them too so yeah look at look at all this waste that's the weight of at least a couple of potatoes right there so more than a pat more than one 10 pound bag we eat a, a week But then again, sometimes I eat the taters, and I don't eat out of the 10-pound bag, so. Yeah, it would. I told him to just throw the peelings in the in the garden but he never it attracts animals uh oh I don't know what that is I can't look at it right now is it important Ashley Important enough for me to take off my gloves and dig into my phone and see what it was. Oh, it's not from you? Well, then I don't. I'm not even going to worry about it then. They send me a message when some of my contacts gets on. I only got a couple there. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> well, I hope it's not. I only got a couple that. Well, my yeah, my middle sister is has it, but she doesn't contact me there. So, she uh, she has that mainly for her grandsons here in Nova Scotia, and she's in Ontario. A lot of people in Ontario. Well, Linda's not here today, is she? But we could do a snapshot of me. Oh, Linda is here. Oh, my goodness. I just said, Linda's not here, is she? And there she is. <laughs> Hi, Linda. <laughs> Uh, 
Actually, might as well take a screenshot of me. Uh, that was great timing, I know. Oh, there's the cat, too. Screenshot. That was great timing. I was saying there's a lot of people from Ontario, but and I said, Linda's not here yet, or today. And, and then I looked up, and there you are. I'm peeling potatoes. When you got, get a, a, what does Ashley do with all the screenshots? She just sends them to me. She probably erases them from her phone. She sends them to me. And, and uh, if I remember, I put them in for uh, thumbnails or in another video. We're heading to the beach after lunch. Sean is still sleeping. Uh, okay. It's 82 here or whatever it is on the Fahrenheit uh, Celsius side. Careful you don't get burnt. Seven and seven. Seven seven friends and seven thumbs up. Wow. I already ate, Linda, and now I'm peeling spuds because there was no spuds peeled here or over there. I'm going to take a few home with me. Just to cook for supper. He might cook a bunch tonight for me. I don't know. He was mowing last night across the, the street for the friend across the street. I don't know if they're staying in there or while they're here or not. I didn't see any cars over there, but the trees uh, are full now and you can't see over there anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Mowing at the... Uh, oh, wait now. That sounds like fun, Linda. I would love to go to the beach today. We were going to hate... 94! Oh, I wouldn't. Humid and cloudy where Dawn is. Eight thumbs up. He was mowing at my house. Yeah, Ashley loves the little house across the street. That is what I miss about living in Florida, was a being able to escape to the beach. Yeah. We have, uh, I think our closest beach is 10 minutes, 15. Uh, my older son just mowed. I didn't even hear it with my headphones. One less job for me. Yay for children that help their parents. All right, friends. This is. There's a few. Thank you, Ashley. There's a few. Uh, I don't know, the weight of a couple, at least a couple potatoes here. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to have it follow me. <laughs> Here's the potatoes. I just gotta uh, put water on them here and give them a rinse. That's the pump going in the cellar. It's okay, Callie. 
It's okay, Mom. It's already put water on the potatoes. Oh. I'll look at the when I get back. I'll put them out in the uh, compost thing. They do take compost carts away, and they do make compost. And sometimes, at a certain time of year, they'll give you a tote pan of uh, free compost that they've made from the compost that we... There's that mosquito. It was tough, but I got it. I had to hit it twice. Sorry, it didn't follow me. Yeah, my hands are sweaty inside. I don't know what he's doing with these bags. Now we got a 10 pound bag left and that's what we got left. So when we go to town, maybe tomorrow, we need cat litter. I forgot cat litter the other day. I was watching fireworks from Tracy. Yeah, that was nice, wasn't it? Nice fireworks. Stephanie, how much uh, non-starchy vegetables? Between two and four pounds a day. Oh, Dawn, see ya. Hi, hi, I missed ya. I'm sorry. Beach is about 45 minute drive to the one we go to. Dogs and Sean love it. Oh, well, that's nice then. Have a lovely day, Dawn. Bye, Dawn. Linda. Everybody's waving. Say, oh, you're st Oh, Marcy. Quick hello. Hello. Oh, my goodness. A kitten. Oh, I just fell right in love. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. The little kitten. Oh, my goodness. My heart just skipped a beat. <laughs> Can you imagine that big cat in there being that small? <laughs> oh, my. She's got her ears back. She's got her nose in a snit. <laughs> I always say. I would love to eat more. That's what I got to do, Stephanie. I've been eating too much starch again. And I got to I got to cut down on the starch. There's a few meals that I ate was all starch. Yeah. And I want to do 50/50s, but I have to have more non-starchy vegetables on hand. I know you said Yes. Yeah, the the parade. That's pretty cool. It goes right beside their homes, right past their draw, their home. They don't have to go anywhere. Well, I mean, she did go down after to the to the place, but 
There was one thing they went to this year that it was rain, pouring down rain. Sounds like you eat more non-starchy than starch. Well, yeah, at least two pounds of starch a day, but a lot of times I do go over. So I'll say sometimes it's three and three. I don't know. I don't weigh. I just I just weighed in the beginning, I, and I just I throw the food in the dish, and I said, well, that must be it. And <laughs> but then there are times when I know it's I'm over the amount of the starchy amount. But that's what I have more of cooked in my fridge. But i got to be more diligent and uh, make sure I have other... Uh, Cute tank top you're wearing today. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. I'll step back and uh, this is the the earrings. I didn't bother to look for pink, so I chose the black kitties in the in the teacup because black goes with anything and white does too. And I wanted something cool because I knew it was going to be hot today, so I put this on. But I forgot to change and put on my pretty pink 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 bra new bra so here we are outfit of the day oh did I bother you I woke her I'm gonna fix this blanket while I'm in here sorry to wake you my goodness goodness gracious girl I'm sorry to wake you this morning but it's only like a third of a cup so it's not like a third of a cup it is a third of a cup well, I don't even know this holds a cup Oh, I thought it was following me. Here I am. Follow me over here. Okay. Don't start. I get cat food smell on my fingers, so... You're not going to believe I carried over the laptop and didn't even use it. Huh. Now how come this thing's not 
All right. You're supposed to be following me, remember? I got close to, to fold. That sock is almost ready for the garbage. Next time he wears them, maybe you can put them in the garbage. It's hard for me to see over here. There's his compression sock. I found a, one of his old hoodies that he probably doesn't know where it is. I'm not going to fold that. I'm just going to throw that uh, hanging over there or somewhere. Oh, are you wearing a pink top, top today too? Oh, thank you, Linda. Stephanie's got a pink top, too. Uh, my younger dog has all my coach coverings in such a mess by morning. All the digging and shuffling. Yes. Wow. How does the camera follow you? It's magic. <laughs> it's a new uh, tripod. In place of my pink one that would follow me. Well, I had the second one of those. And neither one lasted a year. So I, uh, I tried a different one. I just published uh, the video of the unboxing. And this is the first time using it. So if you feel like watching it after or sometime or... I could have this top here of Richard's, but he likes it. Because that would go good blue. Oh, here's the other compression sock. Yeah, he probably forgot about these sweaters. He's had these for... <laughs> I can't even say how many years. Well, these are the nicest ones. These are... Wrangler. I don't know if these are the ones I got off of Amazon or or not. But I think they're thirty seven dollars now. Off of Am Amazon. Yeah. So now I gotta figure out where to put these clothes. Hello? Oh, did I stop it again? Come. Come on. Oh, my heavens. Come on. Huh. 
Yeah. I'm just going to put these in the bathroom. Okay. Oh, this. This hoodie. That's a thinner hoodie. It's not a thick one, but he'll see it when he he'll see it when he's looking for something there. Girl, <laughs> what a good girl! What a good YouTube homestead girl! <laughs> she didn't look very impressed. <laughs> okay, I peeled potatoes and I folded clothes and I ate my lunch. 1.30. Yeah. I slept so so last night. I think. <laughs> yeah, and when you get up and Maybe I still do have some chronic f fatigue because I don't feel as bad, but I don't feel like jumping out of bed and rearing and tearing around like I figured you should once you have four, five, six hours sleep. I know eight is recommended. I have friends that need nine or twelve. Or they can't function. I don't know how I function sometimes. Well, I do for a few hours and then I crash. I should go close that blind down again to keep the afternoon sun over here so it's not so hot for Richie. My mom always used to do that. His mom, she always used to do that. Oh, there's a potato peeling. I dropped it and I forgot. It would just dry up and she would probably play with it. But I got it. I got it. Uh, the only thing is I have to keep remembering to turn it on and turn it off. Stop it from following me and start it to follow me. Oh, I woke her again. Oh, sorry. Ah, oh, I'm breaking up her beauty sleep. <laughs> I 
Did I break up your beauty sleep? My little princess. I'm bring this note back over here because this is where he sits when he comes. Sits in this chair. This is where his father sat and his grandfather. I'll see who that was, Ashley. It wasn't you. Yeah, see, a, a friend of yours is on Snapchat. I don't care. I don't care. That's the one I care about. I'll put this offline so it doesn't use as much power. <laughs> well, I care about every pe pe other people, and I love everybody, but I don't care that they're on Snapchat or not. There. <laughs> it's back in its holder. Now, when I leave, I'll be putting that phone back in this. Whew! Another hot flash. I gotta make myself some more soybeans. I gotta write that on my note. Soybeans. Raw soy beans. I don't know if I already have any. I gotta check. In my stash. In my uncooked bean stash. I should take out a... Well, I don't have any potatoes cooked. But I could... I could eat oat groats and beans. And cook some vegetables. I might have to finally buy a new laptop. Mine keeps turning off. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I probably paid a lot for mine because I wanted a lot of power under the hood. I can't remember what I did pay for it, but you'll probably get better deals. Oh, and the pawn shop might just get a used one for now if I need to. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I would have a problem with that because... It could be a, come from a smoker's a home where there's people smoking or air fresheners and it would be permeated right into the machine and come out the, when it's heated up, yeah. It's bad enough the new smell that comes out of it. Still, some new stuff comes out of it. You'll smell it first! <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. You can... <laughs> it doesn't matter for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Richard said if you want to get on the roof or the stage and you're welcome they won't be doing it until after the heat wave is over more towards September
We don't even have the shingles first. He didn't even ask the guy to measure the roof yet for first. That sounds, would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hope you got some old clothes that you don't care if you get them ripped or dirty. I can go up a ladder to a certain, maybe the third rung, but I have a problem getting back down. You do have steel toe boots? Well, there's a start. And overalls, well, there you go. You're all set. Richard's got a hard hat here that his dad used to own. News. He never wears it for anything. But he says he's going to try to get up on the stage and, and see what he can do. Because there has to be someone on the stage in two. Like couple people on the stage and a couple on the roof I was prepping for when I either buy a house or redo or build a tiny house oh yeah yeah it's good to, to start prepping for things like that the heat I think the heat is making my fingers swell Because I haven't really been, I ate those five little bites of pickles and five bites of pickles yesterday. I don't think that amount of salt would make me uh, retain water. Does it, Stephanie? Yeah. Yeah, in the heat. I think it is the heat. My legs and feet and legs and ankles used to... I used to call them stovepipes because they used to swell. And... Yeah, I was eating salt. Uh, not a lot of salt, but salt and processed food is a lot of salt. And back then, I remember still... And I was still drinking. Not a lot. Maybe a drink in the evening. But on the weekends, uh, for a number of years, when I went with my sister who lost her husband, uh, I, I would drink a pint of vodka every weekend. So... But I've not tasted alcohol for well over three years now. And that too, I think, what helped my feet and legs swell. But then after I lost the weight and they don't swell, they're just, I can see veins and bones and tendons and ankle bones and stuff that I could never see before. So... And, and when I first started losing the weight, I could just gradually, 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 just ever so slightly see it on my fingers and hands. And this would grow a little bit more down more every day and every day until now. It's almost, almost to my wrist. Oh no, My, I have uh, someone really close to me has them. I have a couple of little spider ones on the top of my thigh, but yeah, and she's on a job where she's on her feet 
eight, 12 hours a day too. Not counting just daily, every day being on your feet. Are they painful? I forget. My first mother-in-law had them bad, too. She was a bigger lady. No, they don't hurt? Well, that's good. Oh, there she is. The YouTube kitty. Oh, yeah. I have to do the litter pan. I don't know how I'm going to take this thing in. They are hereditary, or she... Yeah, okay, then. She got them from... Yeah. I, my immediate family, I don't have them. My mother or father didn't have them. That I know of or remember. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to have to twirl this around, you guys, and un unscrew it from this uh, base. So you might want to close your eyes so you don't get dizzy. Lucy... Righty tighty lefty Lucy. Oh no. Come off, come off. Oh no. How many turns to get that off of there? Oh, I was turning the whole thing around. The top. I need to just do the base. Sorry, you guys. Oh, my heavens. <laughs> Close your eyes. There. Oh, my heavens. <laughs> oh. Oh, your sister and grandmother have them. Oh, okay. I'm putting you in the other. Oh, ow. Ow. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to make sure this thing is turned off. The base started to move. I want to turn you off, not on. The thing started spinning around. Okay, so. Gotta make sure and get all my gear. I'll open this curtain up here because the sun's gone around now. Yesterday I forgot to open it. Oh, this here I have to screw on this. So that's done. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to put these in my knapsack. Richards, I forgot it wasn't following me. Clearwater, 30 years. He wasn't there 30 years, but apparently they were when they got that. Why did I bring that laptop over if I 
wasn't going to use it. Well, I know why, because I forgot I was going to be playing with the, the new uh, robot thing. All right, here we go into the kitty litter again. <sighs> and I'll be able, I'll see if it's going to last another day. Sorry, I'm like the, what do you call that, uh, groundhog, popping his head up. Yeah, it'll last one more day. And we'll go to town tomorrow after work. Ugh. Oh. Hot in that corner doing that, I can tell you. There, now, let's... Oh yeah, I gotta do these dishes. Oh. And I gotta get a bag and get rid of that. We're peeling. I found one. Okay. And we gotta Oh Gotta go and put some sunscreen on the shelf. Okay, see you Linda. Sorry I was busy. Have a good one.
it's hot. I don't like putting my hands in hot water when it's hot. Draining the water off of these potatoes. And I'll take the whole thing home with me. on the top. Yeah, there. Whew. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Meow. Meow. <laughs> Did we disturb you? Did we? I'm going to put the... <laughs> All right, easy does it. Easy, easy. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> She's got her paws on my slipper. You're a good girl, aren't you? Okay, yeah. I'm going to put the light out or I get attacked. It's a lamp out here. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Not feeling well today, so I'm going to rest before sun's therapy. Take care all. Oh, mercy. I hope you're feeling better, hon. There's no time, no good time to be feeling sick. Yeah, hot or cold weather. But it might be a little worse in the heat. So. Thank you, you guys. We love you. Hugs, cyber hugs, gentle. Cyber hugs. A lot of people have pain, so I always give gentle cyber hugs. I just wore my boots over. My little boots. My little slip on. 1980s fish plant boots. They might have came from the 70s. I doubt it. They're probably 80s. Yeah. Yeah. Forget what year I started. I was still living with Mummy. So it was... Late 80, 80 or into 81 or early 82. I can't remember. So... Now, I'm going to Sorry, you guys. Ha, that didn't work out, did it? I wanted to show me backing up and putting this on my back. But... This isn't a very good angle. <laughs> Get up here. <laughs> oh, my land sakes. That wasn't good at all. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Uh. Well, I see these uh, women in other countries, they're carrying babies on their backs and big heavy water containers and bags of cement and dirt and stuff. And I'm thinking, gee, 
I should carry stuff on my, and then they had their hands free to carry another kid or something. So I, I, <laughs> I decided I would, okay, cool. Yeah, Ashley, can you believe that I found that, Richard found that bag with, there's bars, there's five or six bars of soap in it. All right, Callie, we'll see you tomorrow, hon. Lord willing. She doesn't care. Yeah. He found that bag of the soap. I thought I had them in the screen room and they were in the back room all that time. You're set for life. Yeah, pretty well. <laughs> oh, pink is pretty. I can't have pink soap. Uh, but it's okay if it, if it cleans me. <laughs> All right, let's. I don't know if he barbecued again or not. He said he was going to. The other guy wanted to. Oh no, they was going to eat liver. That's right. Too. Yeah, if we would have got that screen room here, it would have been right here. Dip it in some beet juice. Uh, five or six bars of uh, fragrance free soap that I had bought. Sometime last year, I thought I had it in the screen room airing it from because soap will take the smells of other soaps and other things around it and I couldn't find it. So then I asked Ashley if uh, she could check and see if they had any at the whole, whole health food store. Yeah, and uh, she did and she brought it when we went to the beach last Saturday. Not last Saturday, Saturday before, when we went to the beach. And, uh, yeah, she said, here, happy birthday. And it was two bars of soap. So, that was very kind of her. But now he felt, when we were putting that oven in the other day, <laughs> he said, what's this? And he picked up this bag, and there it was, this bag of soap. Oh, my heavens. It's nicely aired, though. <laughs> All right. That's enough sitting there. Oh, yeah, if we would have got that screen host, it would have been right there. It would have been right here, that screen room. Yeah, it would have been nice sitting in there because it would have gave some shade as well as just keeping the bugs away. Knock on wood, we haven't been really bothered that bad by them. Well, I, I stay in most of the time, so... Maybe they are bothering and I don't know about it. Because I'm not doing wood in this heat. And I'm not walking in this heat. And especially since my sciatica. I, I could walk now, but I'm not going to walk in this heat. No. You're probably going to lose me, so, but I'm going to switch internets at the trailer, so I'll be back. If you lose me, I'll be back. Yesterday when I come here, through here, there was three birds. And I scared them away by accident. Yeah. Well, I'll keep talking, but... Oh, so cool and shady under here. Oh, nice. Secret passageway. And I'm probably fuzzy or pixelated and you can't even see me. Maybe you can't even hear me. I don't know. I don't know if anybody, if I ever asked afterwards if you could still hear me coming through there. Oh, this is too hot. Yeah, I can't be in the sun. Oh, look at the dirt, my. Okay, probably.
I'm re I'm connected. There's a pretty backdrop. Christmas tree for a live with Patty. Oh yeah. It works until right when you get to your steps. Oh does it? Okay then. Well that's when I switch over because I'm sitting on the the back seat of the van and and put it in the shade so I can actually see. All right. Well, that's good to know. Look at all my brown Susans, brown eyed Susans. I don't know how many years ago I planted them there. Yeah, I'm getting a little woozy out here, so I gotta get out of the sun. Mummy, it's only mummy coming. Yeah, I think I like my laptop with me because. What if, just say, what if something happened to my my desktop and my laptop was over at the house? Yeah. What if? Yeah, I got potatoes on my back. It's only mama. Oh, there they are. There's the girls. <laughs> Callie didn't run. Good girl. Good girls. There they are. <laughs> there you are. There's my girls. It's a little cooler in here. But, oh, I better untie this before I, <laughs> I try to take this off before I untied it. <sighs> Whew. That's hot. Oh, fell over. My knapsack fell over. Here's the potatoes. Yay. I'll put water on them. Whew. Here's... Here's the robot. The robot. Whew. Okay, I'll take your boots off. Hey, Missy. <laughs> She's hanging her head down, aren't you? <laughs> I gotta get the boots off. I'm tripping over them. see if the window's open. No, I'm opening it. There we go. <sighs> that one's open. Oh. Here's the pretty keychain thing Ashley gave me for my birthday. It was kind of big for my purse or my keychain, so I put it on my laptop big. I love it. So pretty and sparkly. Oh. You're not going to believe it. I left my tea over there. Oh. Oh, for pity's sakes, I left my tea over there. And the other mugs over there. You want some tea, Kelly? Come on. Good girl. Come on, Missy. <laughs> Missy. 
she's a funny girl. I'm <laughs> No biting. Don't be like your other sister that you don't even know you got. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm going to have to, oh, that's cool. Curtain's blowed. And there's Missy. I'm going to take off this uh, pink top. And put on that little green uh, exercise bra. Because it'll be cooler for me. Missy. <laughs> Missy. You left. Yeah, I'm all sticky. Sticky, sticky, sticky. Ugh. There we go. I got that off and, and this on. So that'll be good. Well, I don't know if you guys want to watch the cat until I... Uh, come back from the washroom. I'll be right back. Close the curtain. 27 degrees, 
82 or 83, something like that. Here I come. Okay. You guys, it's hot. It's hot. Now. I should have put the fan on. girl you stayed for once oh there she goes <laughs> ah, anybody still here let me read it works until I get the subs oh thank you Stephanie hi Missy and Callie <laughs> Missy's peeking out the, between the curtain oh I gotta get my Earring out. My other earring out. There was a whole bunch of years that I could not wear earrings. Anything I put in my ear would make my ears sore. They would itch and, and hurt and get lumps and... Yeah, so... Then a few years ago, I just... For, I don't know what made me do it, but I just took an earring and I poked it through the hole. And they were the holes were still there. And I poked it through and I've been wearing earrings ever since. I know. There have been the odd time when I did get a, a lump and itchy and I don't wear earrings for in that ear for a few days. And why is it only in one ear and not both? I don't know. Do you guys know? I don't. Whew. So. I forgot my tea over there. I'm just. Maybe when I get up. I'll, have, I'll make myself just a, a green tea. Or maybe I'll just drink water. I don't know. I didn't put water in uh, lemon juice in my water again. Yeah. Because I did drink it for two days and I was starting to get heartburn. Yeah. And then I read up on it and it said to the reactions you can get. Sorry, I got. What was I going to do? I forget what I was going to do. <laughs> I was going to do something, but I don't know what. Twenty after two, I guess I'm going to close her down anyway. And
Yeah, it's... Oh, I'm pretty hot. Yeah, if I was it clear when I was walking through there, I thought. $92 I pay for that internet over there. And this one over here I think is 143 or something like that. I know when I first got it it was cuz they penalize you for not having a phone and and the and the the whole package they penalize you if you only have one. Okay, but I'm wondering if it would be good enough, clear enough to do a live outdoors. Because I know when I'm watching somebody and theirs goes right blurry and pixelated, it makes me not want to watch. I want to watch, but I don't. My eyes are bad enough without watching blurry and... <coughs> It would depend where you are. Yeah. If I was just sitting outside the windows over to the house, that would be that would be really good. There. Or if I was just out here in the screen room or in by the van, that would be still good. But I don't know, like down by the wood pile, if that would be too far away from it if I'll just try it someday. I'll just try it someday. And if you guys say, well, it's too blurry and pixelated, well, then I know I won't do it live again. But when I'm live and when I'm doing wood, I, I can't be looking at the comments. That's the thing. Today stayed connected for me, but yesterday it did not switch when you got home until I clicked on live. Oh. So I guess it's going to depend on the day and where you are and what's going on in the sky that day that <laughs> we have no control over. <laughs> Yeah, maybe this is a very nice clear day and maybe it would be better than a, a foggy, hazy, cloudy day. I don't know. Yeah, I'm almost up to three hours, so Ashley's only got 35 minutes. And she be free. Oh, somebody just came. Looks like another person just came. I got seven or eight thumbs up today. That's good. Hello, whoever just came. I'm already back home. And then I get to go buy cat food before the parade traffic hits. Oh, is the parade today? I don't care about any other parades besides Lockport. We don't go to the one in Shelburne. Yeah. Are you going to watch it? Are you going to be there and watch it? I'm not going. I just want to get back home. Yeah. Yeah. I don't blame you. Get back home before. 
No, we don't even go to the one in Shelburne. The parade in Shelburne, I mean. Yeah. I just like the one in Loveport because it's small and I know some of the people. And, yeah. I know where to stand. Well, I always did know where to stand until this year, Ashley. And I, I don't know why the wind would be a different way this year and not uh, all the other years. Okay, you guys. I'm going to say see you for now, and I don't know what tomorrow will bring. But you never know what I might get up to tomorrow. Thanks, everyone, for being here and keeping me company and talking with me and watching my shenanigans and, and my kitty cats. <laughs> Tomorrow we'll bring another live stream. Probably. <laughs> probably more than likely. Because <laughs> I miss you guys. I miss talking to all you guys when I don't when I don't go live. Like on the weekend. It was like two days I didn't. I was having withdrawal. <laughs> you too, Stephanie. Anybody have a good day. Rest of the day. Anybody that's watching or going to watch, <laughs> I love you all.